AI trades? Do we need something? Or is the cat basically out of the bag? Um, and can it be like a macro force? Because it seems a lot of this is after employment went soft and there's concerns about slowdown. I mean, if that does it, then maybe we don't need some like big, you know, uh, 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 unveil of some NVIDIA flaw or something, right? What's happening right now is really having to do with the yen trade, the carry trade in the yen blowing up and a big shift in expectations about U.S. monetary policy having to do with a weaker report on employment last year and the ISM, which I also thought was quite weak. Having said that, if you look within the ISM, which came out last week, prices paid for goods were actually still accelerating. Mm -hmm. So what's scary is that we potentially have a stagflationary environment where Yes, the Fed cuts a little bit, but there's still pretty strong inflationary pressures. Yeah, you probably don't buy them right now today. You probably wait for some kind of reflexive rally because people are still going to be chasing FOMO and looking to buy the dip. But I think the reality is that AI as a whole is in such a huge bubble and it's full of fraud and fakes and false promises. The extent of that is going to be realized over the next 12 to 18 months. And as the market is forward looking, I think it's entirely reasonable to see sales at NVIDIA go down 70 or 80 percent. NVIDIA's revenue may experience a decline of around 70 percent due to several factors. One primary concern is the potential slowdown of the cryptocurrency market, which significantly contributed to NVIDIA's revenue growth in 2020. As the cryptocurrency market stabilizes and perhaps experiences a downturn, NVIDIA may face reduced demand for its graphics processing units used for mining. Additionally, the termination of the U.S.-China trade deal and stricter regulations on Chinese exports could impact global demand for NVIDIA's products. Wow. Uh, that's kind of been like the ballast, uh, uh, the reliable one. Uh, you know, companies like Apple and Microsoft that still have to deliver product have felt like the frothier ones, but you're saying just go straight for the heart, the jugular of NVIDIA. Well, I, I think there's layers to this. I think at the first layer, you have Microsoft, Google, Apple that have also benefited from AI hype. But those names have real businesses behind them that are separate from AI. So they're going to be cushioned a little bit from any declines related to AI. Stock like Apple, Google will decline because these are faces of AI. The AI hype cycle is a common phenomenon where exaggerated expectations are followed by disillusionment. AI's hype stems from its potential to revolutionize industries, but overhyping can lead to disappointment. When AI fails to meet these inflated expectations, investors may lose trust, causing AI stocks to decline. Factors contributing to the hype cycle include limited understanding of AI capabilities, exaggerated claims, and rapid advancements, which have created unrealistic expectations. On the next layer, you have the suppliers to the AI and the data centers. So you have NVIDIA, AMD, and even Intel, frankly, I think, uh, is not going to get the benefits of AI that it's been hoping for. So, but that one has its own problems, as you know. But from there, you can also go to equipment makers. So KLLC, Applied Materials, Tokyo Electron, ASML, and uh, software providers, Synapse, Cadence Systems, etc. Those names are going to be hit really hard. And so not only do I believe that they're earnings and sales are going to decline, the valuations are extremely stretched. He is right several companies are developing their own graphics processing unit to rival NVIDIA's dominance in the market. One notable example is AMD, which offers its Radeon GPUs with competitive performance. Intel has also been working on its own GPUs, codenamed Petal Lake, for high-performance computing and gaming. Additionally, ARM has announced its plans to develop a GPU architecture for mobile devices and making them is simple not a rocket science. I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my 3 hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking plus all these benefits. Click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. Over the past year and a half, nearing two years, we've seen a new bull market emerge. However, this bull market hasn't been entirely smooth. 
Recently, the market has started pulling back, reflecting some frustration over the Fed's decision not to cut rates in July and the potential for a rate cut in September. These are unusual times, as the Fed has kept interest rates higher than necessary for the past two years to combat inflation, which many studies attribute largely to supply chain disruptions rather than broad economic factors. The market is now worried that delaying rate cuts could increase the risk of a recession. Some argue that we've been in a recession all along, with traditional recession indicators being outdated or irrelevant. Personally, I lean towards the view that we haven't fully emerged from the bear market yet, instead, the semiconductor industry, including Nvidia, has been leading the way out of the early stages of economic recovery. The current situation is marked by significant uncertainty and a mix of factors contributing to market volatility. It's an election year not only in the US but globally, which often adds to market fluctuations. Additionally, the Fed appears to be struggling with policy decisions, and there's criticism over tech companies, including Nvidia, investing heavily in AI and cloud computing infrastructure. This investment, while essential for long-term growth, has been viewed by some as excessive. I share stock markets latest news, datas and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel. Turning to Nvidia, the company recently reported a delay in their next AI chip, citing a design flaw. Nvidia has informed Microsoft and another cloud provider that the Blackwell 200 AI chips will be delayed by at least three months. The lack of a precise timeline has investors worried about potential impacts on Nvidia's earnings reports and future performance. Nvidia's previous investor presentations highlighted several upcoming platforms, including the Blackwell GPU for 2024 and the Blackwell Ultra in the following years. The delay raises concerns about whether it will affect Nvidia's ambitious plans and high market expectations. Currently, Nvidia has experienced a significant pullback in its stock price. This situation might present a compelling opportunity to average out your purchase price of Nvidia shares. The principle here is quite simple. If you were comfortable buying Nvidia shares when their price was rising, even reaching 52 week highs, there's no reason why you shouldn't continue to invest when the price is lower. It's essential to remember that nothing fundamental about the company has changed except for external factors such as media narratives and opinions from hedge fund managers. Moreover, there are additional key strategies that we need to emphasize before we conclude this discussion. Firstly, patience is vital. Investing gradually, as we did with Nvidia, means purchasing shares over a long period rather than in a single large transaction. This gradual approach helps manage risk and reduces the impact of market volatility. Remember, investing is not about making a quick fortune, it's about making well-informed decisions over time. Secondly, diversification is essential. Even though we have focused on semiconductor stocks like Nvidia, it's important to not put all your eggs in one basket. Diversifying your portfolio by including a mix of different types of investments can protect you from significant losses if one sector experiences a downturn. For instance, holding stocks from non-cyclical industries that are less volatile can balance your portfolio against market swings. At Chip Stock Investor, we strive to help you build your investment knowledge and framework by analyzing leading businesses like Nvidia and other significant players in the market. Our insights aren't just limited to tech stocks, we cover a range of sectors to provide a comprehensive view of investment opportunities. Now, let's turn our attention back to Nvidia and what we should expect ahead of their Q2 report, which is about three and a half weeks away. There's been some chatter in our community and other investment circles regarding a recent report from the information. I share stock markets latest news, datas and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video. Click on my Telegram channel's link and simply join my Telegram channel. This report suggests that Nvidia's Blackwell chips will be delayed, impacting major tech companies like Google, Microsoft, and Meta. This rumor has likely contributed to Nvidia's recent stock decline. Here's what we know for certain, in Q1 of fiscal year 2025, Nvidia reported total revenue of $26 billion, primarily from its data center segment. For the upcoming quarter, revenue guidance is expected to be around $28 billion, reflecting a moderate increase of about 2%. This represents a slower sequential growth rate compared to previous quarters. The anticipated slowdown was already indicated by Nvidia's guidance. The company had previously projected that revenue growth would decelerate, partly due to the ramp-up of Blackwell production, which is set to begin in the second half of this year. 
Blackwell, unlike typical GPUs, is an advanced accelerated computing system with unprecedented power consumption and computing capabilities. NVIDIA's manufacturing partner, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, is not only increasing production but also using a new manufacturing process for Blackwell. Given the complexity of this process, it's expected that there may be some initial challenges. We've discussed these complexities in previous videos, especially following NVIDIA's GTC in March. Blackwell represents a significant leap in data center technology, and while the ramp-up is critical, it's also intricate. The new manufacturing process and high power demands introduce potential wrinkles that may affect production timelines and, by extension, NVIDIA's stock performance. NVIDIA's share price is below $97. Our slide deck, prepared over the weekend, doesn't yet reflect this additional 10% drop, but with this new decline, NVIDIA is now 40% off its peak from just a few months ago. However, if we look back to the start of 2023, we see that NVIDIA has had an extraordinary run, with its stock rising several hundred percent since late 2022. Such significant gains naturally lead to increased volatility and, unfortunately, dramatic pullbacks. While the current decline feels painful, it's a typical market reaction to extreme price movements and high valuations. These are not signs of failure but rather expected hurdles in a new and ambitious manufacturing process. NVIDIA has been transparent about this process. They have always anticipated that the second half of 2024 would be crucial for ramping up production and that the real financial impact from their new Blackwell technology would be felt in calendar year 2025. This timeline has been consistently communicated by NVIDIA, so recent media reports suggesting otherwise should not be surprising or alarming. The focus for investors should be on the information provided directly by the company and the hard data they release, rather than being swayed by speculative media reports or sensational headlines. Investing decisions should be grounded in the company's own statements and performance metrics, not in the hype or conjecture that often surrounds emerging technologies. NVIDIA's recent financial performance, particularly in the data center and accelerated compute sectors, has been robust. They have seen substantial revenue from these areas over the past year and are projected to continue this strong performance as they reach their production and revenue goals. Our investment strategy should reflect this understanding, focusing on the company's proven track record and future prospects rather than being influenced by short-term media narratives. The market segmentation chart shows that NVIDIA is deeply involved in AI infrastructure, cloud computing, and enterprise accelerated compute, all of which are experiencing growth. While NVIDIA has a strong presence in PC graphics and gaming, which remain significant, they are also preparing for the next wave of technological advancement in accelerated compute infrastructure. This technology is not just confined to data centers, it's expanding into various sectors, including edge computing, which encompasses everything from home PCs and laptops to specialized industrial equipment. This broader application is a natural progression from the initial data center growth and is indicative of the broader impact NVIDIA's technology is having across different industries. Recent earnings reports from various companies have reinforced these trends, showing that the data continues to support the trajectory NVIDIA has outlined. For investors, especially those facing volatility or potential losses, it's important to remain focused on the long-term fundamentals rather than being swayed by short-term fluctuations. Our stance on investing in infrastructure-based tech remains consistent. Despite any short-term volatility or media hype, we maintain strong conviction in NVIDIA's strategy and its projected revenue streams. The company's outlook for the remainder of the year and into 2025 remains promising, aligning with the data and projections provided by NVIDIA itself. So, if we look at NVIDIA's performance, we see it's down over 20%. However, it's not just NVIDIA experiencing this decline. The broader semiconductor ETF has fallen more than 22% in the same time frame. The S&P 500 ETF is down around 5.68%, and the Nasdaq has decreased over 3%. This indicates a general market sell-off rather than NVIDIA-specific issues. Now, let's consider NVIDIA's major customers, Amazon, Meta Platforms, Alphabet, and Microsoft. As production ramps up, encountering issues is normal, contrary to what some media reports might suggest. The Blackwell manufacturing process is complex and unprecedented, and it's typical to uncover problems with yield, process, or even design that need addressing. NVIDIA has always anticipated these challenges and has planned for a gradual increase in production throughout the latter half of 2024. The real financial impact of Blackwell on NVIDIA's results is expected to be more apparent in calendar year 2025. 
The media's sensational headlines and speculation often lack context and can be misleading. It's crucial to base investment decisions on concrete information from the company and the actual results, rather than on speculative reports or exaggerated claims. We take our cues from what NVIDIA communicates and the data they provide. The company has seen substantial success over the past year with its data center and accelerated computing chips. Their strategy remains focused on substantial revenue growth, particularly in AI infrastructure, cloud, and enterprise accelerated computing, all areas experiencing significant growth. While NVIDIA's traditional segment, such as PC graphics and video games, remains important, the company is already looking beyond its current achievements. They are preparing for the next wave of accelerated computing infrastructure, which is critical as technology advances in data centers and the cloud. This progress will eventually influence various industries and applications, from personal PCs and laptops to specialized industrial equipment. Recent earnings reports have reinforced the strength of NVIDIA's position. For investors feeling the impact of recent sell-offs or those who are new to the market, our stance remains unchanged. We maintain strong confidence in NVIDIA's strategy and outlook, and we believe in their potential for continued revenue growth and industry leadership into 2025.